Okay, my friends, I have to take a new tack. I'm not getting anywhere. I have been blocked virtually everywhere in the world from every venue. No returns of emails, none of that stuff. So I'm going to start doing lives. I need your help. I need you to come and I need you to support me and I need you to spread this word out. It's, it's being suppressed because it points to things that nobody's ever considered could possibly be real. And when I say that, I have in front of me right here a hair follicle. I've shown this hundreds, probably thousands of times. That hair follicle has the muscle joints right there. The sebaceous gland is right there. The root comes down here to where you have the hair papilla, the vein and artery coming in. The hair shaft comes up the top. It's two inches wide. That would create a very, very large creature. I don't know what kind of creature it is, but it is two inch wide hair follicle. Of that, there is a complete certainty. Now, what else can I show? They're all over the world, these things. This is a gigantic foot. A five-year-old can see this. It is no mystery whatsoever. And here's these people looking at it. This is all the red blood that's run off it and dusted off it. It is in the desert somewhere. And this is where the tendon comes up and meets the muscle. It's If there's a doctor watching, I need people to question and ask. In 15 years, I have had zero and I'm serious, zero questions, not one question about my research from an academic. I have 3,800 videos, every one of them pointing out evidence that is, is uh, undeniable. DNA, CAT scans, specimens, it's stuff is everywhere in the world and I have been crushed and suppressed and it's getting worse and worse and worse by the day. I have a few people that are helping me now and I need your help. So I'm going to start doing lives. I want you to comment and tell me what's a good time you think and so forth. I, I, I'm not good at this stuff, but I can answer your questions and, and um, I can present evidence. But I need questions. I want people to say, well, how can you make that statement, Roger? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because I can a answer all those, and I normally do, even though they're not being asked to me. <laughs> I'm answering them, but... I get no response. Well, I, mean, I get responses from the same people. It's the same people every time. Very, very few new people. It's just not being allowed out there. So I'm going to start doing lives and um, I'm just going to let it run. But I need, I need help and we need a platform. We need a forum. We need to be able to address these things together. And talk back and forth like they do in the news. Oh, we didn't do this, we didn't. No, not a single one will talk to me. I tried contacting all the news agencies. I've tried everywhere. And it's NASA, Smithsonian, uh, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yale, Harvard, psh, nothing. Zero. All they're looking for is funding, my friends. We got to get out of this disaster we have been put in where our minds have been literally destroyed. If you, if you repeat what you're being told from academia in the theoretical realm, even all the way down to physics and biology, everything, they don't know what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. Zero. It's the most incompetent system I've ever seen in my life. It's a repeat, word for word, or you fail. We're going to change that. Now, I'm not just talking about the mud fossils, which is absolutely certain. There's DNA tests and CAT scans and all that stuff done. Three foot wide to between three and four feet wide is this human hand, and it has been tested human. That's If you lay your left hand back, you've got a tendon that runs around just like that. You've got the pad that runs around the cleave between the two pads. The thumb runs off there, the small finger runs this way, and that little silvery looking stuff is grip skin. This is 100% certain, and they refuse to engage. Also, with the dipole electron flood theory, Rod Warren and I were the first in the world to photograph photons. These are actually photons. 
Fermilab could see little bits and pieces of things, but they never could see photons because they started with huge particles. And, and they refused to discuss. This is exactly identical to what they found, only we used light. We accelerated light, it's supposed to not happen. The, none of the stuff that they're teaching is true. I mean, literally nothing I can find is true. It's all dogma that you have to say the same thing or they will fail you. They control your life and they control your mind now. And I mean in a very, very negative way because you have no idea what's real and what isn't real anymore. They deny everything and if you put up a fight, they will crush you, literally crush you and destroy your life. That's just a fact. Time to stop it.